Okay, I think we're almost ready to go. Uh, we're going to have to do kind of a foreshortened uh, show for tonight because of the fact that we are recording some stuff in the studio for the next couple of days. So pardon me if this is going to be a little abrupt for tonight, but we'll get everything in. Uh, this is Weather Overtime. I'm Chief Meteorologist Austin Onik. On the, the downward side of the season, we're getting close to that time of the year, just about an, uh, eight days, a little bit over a week to go until we hit the beginning of the new season. So we are getting uh, decently close on the changeover right there. Again, if I didn't say so, again, this is weather overtime. Thursday night, the 14th, we just saw the International Space Station pass overhead uh, on the uh, Island Cove Marina and Resort camera. We'll put that on the show uh, a little bit later on if we can get that taken care of here in just a little point from the epb fiber optics weather cam network from lee point the plain view outdoor advertising camera at highways 153 and 64. beautiful night in downtown for baseball the lookouts taking on the birmingham barons so a nice view from at&t field there and looking back toward downtown from the news 12 studios on the veteran owned patriot concrete camera one more view from downtown or pardon me from chattanooga red wolf stadium construction backing up traffic from 75 north to 24 west a lot of heavy construction in that area so please keep that in mind if you're going to be traveling and from the speedy's total car care camera high atop the chattanooga theater center overlooking coolidge park very mild evening tonight gorgeous conditions out there no problems at all being seen across much of the area so no problems at this time uh, more chances of rainfall coming up into the course of the next couple of days titan radar showing a few scattered leftover showers just basically poofing out over portions of north central georgia and back into western north carolina just a little bit of rain showers left south and west of Asheville into the highlands area and south of i-40 east of i-75 so really little if anything going on at this time temperature is pretty mild 58 degrees back toward paducah I haven't seen numbers like that in quite some time across the area so hopefully that'll be more common in the course of the next several days out there almanac page for today we did manage to wind up with some fairly mild numbers yet again temperature is almost exactly spot on for where they should be record high of 98 that hasn't been broken since 1939 and a record low wouldn't that feel nice 42 set back in 1953 goose eggs on rainfall and still behind now pretty well for the month and the year so we could definitely use some more rainfall out there thanking my co-anchor emily casulo for a nice airborne view of nickel creek playing at the moon river fest about a week or so ago at sunset thank you emily casulo for sending that picture along if you'd like to send in your picture and tell people what you've been seeing go ahead and send them in to us at pictures at wdef.com drop them to the comments section of our social media pages would love to see what you're seeing out there but we need to have a description of some sort you can be anonymous if you want to but just go ahead and give us a little bit more in the way of some commentary clear right uh, give us an idea as what you're looking at there a little bit clearer uh, description if at all possible clearer skies from earlier tonight around boston that's going to be changing as what's left of a hurricane crawls its way up the east coast there's not much going on for right now high pressure in control of the gulf and then also a, an area of low pressure and a cold front back off to the north of us that is kind of helping to curb Lee, what's left of what was once a major hurricane, now Category 1, that is again going to be making its way uh, off the East Coast and heading up toward uh, Nova Scotia from what it looks like at this time. High pressure, escorting in some dry air, just enough moisture from the Gulf left over to give us some showers and thunderstorms from the Delta back over to the Deep South. This area of high pressure, which has been keeping things decently quiet, is going to overpower this area. Notice again, we've got some warm conditions right back this direction, and that warm front, that warm moist air, that area of high pressure is going to be working against us into the weekend 
pushing that warm, moist air back up our direction. So for tonight, not that much going on. The potential for maybe a sprinkle or two tomorrow morning, but otherwise partly cloudy skies for early on. A chance of a shower or thunderstorm, but only a chance tomorrow afternoon toward about Friday night football or so. Saturday morning starts off with a few speckles of showers and then increases the possibility of some thunderstorms coming up this direction into the afternoon. So far, no major amounts of severe weather, but we will be keeping our eyes on that. And then a bit of a break before Sunday morning, some more rumbles of thunder head up this way and some very, very pleasant temperatures coming our direction. Uh, early Sunday morning, showers and thunderstorms mainly leaving the area. Looks like we dry out for a little bit and then toward the afternoon, hours some very pleasant conditions the temperatures this weekend look excellent uh, unfortunately at this time the potential to where we again may see the possibility of some showers and thunderstorms be uh, out there could be a problem for outdoor activities we'll be watching that with a lot of interest uh, no severe weather tonight thunderstorms back to our east thunderstorms more prevalent down to our south northeast alabama you could pick up some of that coming up relatively soon and then thunderstorms into saturday so far not seeing anything again in the way of severe weather coming on through quick check of the tropics Again, Lee is the big problem off the East Coast. Margo is wandering its way around the Atlantic. Not a problem there. And a new area of investigation, or Invest 97L, that one wandering close to Lee's original path from a few days ago. So whether or not this follows in its path toward the East Coast and the Bahamas and then skips it toward Bermuda, We'll have to watch Invest 97 to see what happens there. It could take a northerly track and wind up between these two systems. Uh, we'll see what goes on with that in the next few days. Lee, again, as it traverses the western Atlantic, will be making landfall sometime into early Saturday afternoon. And that will be, let me get the target zone set up here just a little bit. The spaghetti models are, again, aiming a little farther to the east at this point. So that's going to take that northeasterly quarter of the storm between 12 and 3 o'clock. That, again, that's positional right there, not time-wise, from 12 o'clock to 3 o'clock here. The northeast portion of the storm is usually the worst part of anything involving the hurricane winds as they slam around that corner right there due to the force of that hurricane drawing the winds down toward that center. We see again some very breezy conditions just offshore. Now wave potential as we go into the next few days, that could be a problem upwards of Cape Cod and around the eastern seaboard. If you're planning a beach vacation from say Chesapeake Bay northward, could be some very good rip conditions out there, riptide conditions, I should be able to say. Uh, also seeing right now, again, this is a Category 1 hurricane. It's decently small. There's really not a lot there in the way of a huge, expansive storm. The wind field usually at this time, very tight, like a ice skater crossing his or her arms and spinning very, very quickly. But in the next couple of days, as we go forward, this wind area will spread outward. So right before it hits the area into and around New England and Southeast Canada, we could see some winds just below hurricane strength, Halifax, Nova Scotia, Newfoundland in that area. And then parts of the East Coast between Boston and Bangor, we could see some very breezy winds coming up Saturday afternoon. So air travel, New York, Boston into Maine, if you're traveling that way or know somebody up that way, could be some very soggy conditions up that direction, not to mention windy. Uh, could be a little dangerous, but right now it looks like most of Lee heading off to the east of us, so not a major problem at this time. From Philip Klotzbach from Colorado State University, they issue a good deal of hurricane season forecast and the mid to late season forecast. Remember, we just passed the peak of hurricane season. And according to Mr. Klotzbach from CSU, it's looking like an 85% chance of an above normal late part of the season. So this is really important to take a look at as we see more potential for more storms. We may get the N name storm from that system. Again, Invest 97 could become Nigel, and that's roughly midway through the alphabet. So we are right on track 
already an active season may see the active end of the entire season coming up so for right now the main possibility is going to be for that potential of more problems out there from the tropics which means basically if you're going to be traveling anywhere from uh, the gulf coast to mexico the bahamas the caribbean the east coast you're going to need to keep your guard up and watch what goes on with this storm. It's going to be imperative for safety's sake out there. So something to consider uh, as we go throughout the rest of the next few, er, next several weeks at least. Island Cove Marina and Resort from the EPB Fiber Optics Weather Cam Network. Again, showing some clouds out there. For the next couple of days, we'll be showing a chance of showers and thunderstorms and temperatures throughout the next several days very much on the mild side. So not doing too bad. 50s and 60s. That's very nice at nighttime, so not seeing, again, a major amount of concern out there for now for anything Major League Heat Wave related, so very good news on that. But that does mean that if you're going to be outdoors for the Food City Certified Angus Beef on the Grill cast, uh, co-anchor Andrew Harrison's favorite term, Thunder Weenies, that is what we may be looking at for the potential of some problems out there with mild temperatures in the next few days for grilling outdoors, but lightning safety first and watch what goes on uh, with the weather so through the weekend if you see that lightning out there time to wrap it up and head back indoors again to stay safe across the area likewise if you're going to be out watching the teams tomorrow night we are going to be seeing some isolated chances of showers and thunderstorms especially early on very comfortable won't need a jacket shirt sleeve weather for friday night tailgate show and looking at partly cloudy skies again a chance of a shower or thunderstorm but otherwise looking very nice across much of the area with hardly any problem out there when it comes to anything in the way of major amounts of showers and thunderstorms but we will be watching again very carefully to see what goes on there looks like we're about to wrap up here and get into uh, the recording situation so we're going to go ahead and log off this has been kind of a shorter webcast for tonight we'll be back tomorrow night to give you an idea as to what's going on into the weekend and an update on the tropics if you're going to be traveling out to new england definitely want to stay tuned for what may be going on there keep up to date on the forecast go to our website wdef.com slash weather chip chapman will have your forecast bright and early coming up tomorrow morning at 5 a.m and don't forget about meteorologist todd highslip his forecast coming up as we go into saturday and sunday nights at 11 o'clock thanks for joining us for this semi foreshortened edition of weather overtime for thursday september 14th and again we'll have more tonight on news 12 at 11 friday and into the weekend. Stay tuned for more with News 12 on air and online. Thanks for joining us for Thursday night's edition of Weather Overtime.